This is the Pythonic Accountant, and today we're going to take another look at doing some reconciliations uh, using ChatGPT's advanced data analysis tools. So in my previous video, we took a look at reconciling two files. One had general ledger detail and one had subledger detail. In the first version, they just had two columns in those files. One was the date, one was the sales amount. And so that was interesting, but it was only really able to analyze in a separate thread uh, just what the differences were and help us record an entry, assuming that the subledger was the correct uh, one. So what I said was, well, let's add some more interesting data into here. Let's add some additional columns to see if uh, our analysis is able to, you know, kind of pick up on a few of the root causes, because that to me is really interesting um, when we're able to use uh, generative AI to actually do some root cause analysis. So let's take a look here and we're going to upload the two new files that we just created. So we've got subledger updated, general ledger updated, and I'm going to open these and say, um, please perform a reconciliation of these two files. If there are discrepancies, then I want you to do root cause analysis and recommend corrective action, both short term in a journal entry and long-term in systemic fixes or trainings. Provide me uh, the results uh, in a short and organized issue paper <laughs> format, <laughs> just for fun. Let's see what it can do. So it's kind of like an all-inclusive request here, um, something that, you know, uh, a CFO or a controller might ask one of its accountants uh, to do, right? But this is going to do it in seconds for us, hopefully. So it's going to take a look at the data first because it has never seen these uh, files before. And once it takes a look, it's going to say, okay, I'm going to aggregate the subledger amounts by date. I'm going to compare them to the general ledger, identify discrepancies. Um, <laughs> it messed up. So let's see. I can confirm that discrepancies exist between the subledger and the general ledger for multiple dates. Uh, oh, and it's writing me the issue paper without any actual root cause analysis. Oh, this isn't very good. Come on. Um, did you actually do any root cause analysis? Like looking at the columns and the data? Or are these just generic? Let's see what it does. <laughs> Yeah, I called it out and it apologized. So I'm hoping that it'll actually try to look at those columns that I gave it to see if it can pick up on some of the discrepancy. I haven't even looked at the uh, the data within there to see what it says. Uh, the revised findings. Upon a detailed analysis of data columns, several observations. No missing dates, transaction types, subledger, all are categorized as individual sales, all our categories are bulk daily, daily. That's not really helpful. Um, Subledger, the majority have no root cause. Ex however, these entries are marked as returns, other, and cutoff issue. Interesting. Similarly, most entries have no cause listed. <laughs> there are single entries marked as cutoff issues. That's funny. Um, let's see. The presence of root cause tags, such as returns and cutoff issues, may indicate specific issues affecting financial data short term a journal entry so let's see if it can actually give us that journal entry okay give me the actual um dollar amounts for each root cause in a table give me the actual journal entry needed to correct this that'll be interesting to see if it can actually do this okay going back and doing the math and, um, you know, this is something that I would want to see in a real report that, you know, somebody was doing this analysis would provide as the actual amounts that it found. So root cause, cutoff issue, sales and subledger, sales and general ledger, and then had some issues that were not indicated, had some issues that were in other, some were associated with returns. And so it's basically... Interesting. It looks like it is recommending a credit to sales revenue and then a debit to adjustment, which is not really an account, but 
Uh, that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, it says an adjustment account is debited, but it doesn't tell me what that account is, which is fine. It's actually good that it just says you need to kind of decide what that debit account should be. Um, cool. Well, this was, this was interesting. Not perfect, uh, but not terrible. Also, the data we're providing, it is not very detailed. <laughs> it just it looks like added a, a one column with the root cause already tagged in it, but that's okay. Um, well, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully it's inspiring you to explore using the advanced data analysis tool to start doing reconciliations or at least attempting to. And if you like this video, please uh, like it and subscribe, and we will see you at the next one.